What can you buy with five euros in Germany? Whether you're visiting the country, have intentions of moving to Germany, or maybe you're just curious, in this video, we wanna show you what five euros can get you here in Germany. Before we start with the video, a quick word from our sponsor, Manscaped. Did you know that 96% of partners think that bad grooming is a big turnoff? That is why Manscaped offers high quality grooming tools for the modern gentleman. I'm a pretty hairy guy, especially down in my, you know, nether region. And that is where Manscaped's Lawnmower 4.0 comes in. This thing has skin safe technology that makes shaving your balls without cutting yourself easier than ever. And it is waterproof too. Right now, Manscaped has a 20% holiday sale going on, and if your partner could use some improvement in the hairy, stinky balls region, bundles like their perfect package might just be the perfect Christmas present for him. Just check out the link down in the description and use our discount code DeannaPhil when you check out. But now let's get into the video. Five euros is almost exactly five US dollars based on the current exchange rate. So we might use those interchangeably throughout this video. With that being said, what can you buy for five euros or five US dollars in Germany? Fruit and vegetables are probably one of the first things that come to mind. There are a lot of produce options for under five euros. However, fruit and vegetables are very seasonal in Germany. Meaning you will find fresh delicious strawberries during the season, but off season they can get pretty expensive. But you will always be able to buy multiple bags of carrots or potatoes for five euros. German bread. There's nothing quite like German bakeries with fresh bread ready to be sniffed and eaten. There are a variety of loaves that you can buy for under five euros. There are so many different bread types that after years of living here, I'm still finding new options. Like here, you can buy a 600 gram buckwheat gluten-free loaf for under five euros. If you go to a discount supermarket like Aldi, Lidl, or Netto, you can buy five baguettes for five euros, five loaves of Dunkelbrot, or six ciabatta loaves for five euros. We cannot talk about German bread without talking about bread rolls. There's nothing quite like a Brötchen to start off your day in Germany. You can find these at the bakery section, often next to delicious soft pretzels. If you go to a discount supermarket, you could buy something like 29 bread rolls for five euros. Of course, you will need quark to put on your bread roll, which is a weird German yogurt-ish spread thing. So while you're in the store, you could buy around eight packs of quark for five euros. Now you might be thinking, what if you're just visiting Germany and need some toiletries? There are retail stores like Rossmann and DM that will carry a lot of the basic toiletries like toothbrushes. You can buy one toothbrush for under five euros, or you can buy 15 toothbrushes for five euros. Do you need toothpaste? You can buy one tube for five euros. Two and a half of the mid-range toothpastes or seven and a half of these cheaper toothpaste brands. Did you forget to pack your deodorant? You can buy spray deodorant, roll-on deodorant or stick deodorant for under five euros. You can buy 10 packs of these men's roll-on deodorant or two and a half of these long-lasting stick deodorants. If you need shampoo, conditioner, or body wash, there will often be brands like Pantene, where you can buy one bottle for five euros, German brands like Schalma, where you could buy two and a half for five euros, or cheap store brands, where you can buy six bottles for five euros. Let's jump back to the food and drinks. If you are a coffee drinker, you could get one very small Starbucks specialty drink or two to three black coffees at a local cafe or coffee shop or 30 cups of coffee at home with a pet coffee machine. And if you're not a coffee drinker, you could get about one and a half boba tea drinks for five euros. We can't talk about coffee without talking about cake or Kuchen in Germany. Whether you're at a cafe, bakery, or the frozen section of a supermarket, you'll often find a variety of German cake slices for under five euros. I personally am a big sucker for a fat chocolate cake, but there are also a lot of delicious German sheet cakes that are a must try when in Germany. Since this is Germany, we need to mention German beer. You could buy 1.8 Altbier at a local brewery in Düsseldorf, or you could go to Cologne and get 2.2 glasses of Kölsch. You could buy one Hefeweizen at a bar, 
or you could go to the supermarket and buy a selection of German beer bottles or nine half liter discount beer cans for under five euros. If you're in Germany for the Christmas market season, you'll often be able to get at least one glass of Glühwein for five euros. Of course, it all depends on the market and the city, but there's nothing quite like a hot Glühwein to keep you warm at a German Christmas market. Also, there's Kinder Punch for the non-alcoholic drinkers. There are a lot of public transportation options in Germany. Many of the city buses and metro tickets cost less or around three euros for one way. We have even bought a train ticket from Düsseldorf to Cologne for three euros each. This is rare, but in general, you can use public transportation one and a half to two times for five euros. And when visiting different cities, you might need a restroom break. And public toilets in Germany often cost money, ranging from 50 cents to a euro or two. You'll need some change to visit these public toilets. If you're visiting a friend or family member's house, you might pick up some flowers or sweets to bring. Local florists most likely offer bouquets for more than five euros, but there are cheaper flowers at supermarkets and you can buy a pre-made bundle or even two for just about five euros. How have we made it this far without talking about German bakeries? There are a ton of bakery items to try in Germany, and many of them are less than five euros. There are sweet and savory options, and there are also regional options. There is Nuss Echo, which is my go-to German bakery item and a must try if you like nuts. You can even go to Aldi to check out their bakery selection and get these yummy spinach and cheese sticks. You can get seven of them for under five euros. It's such a great quick and easy snack. Okay, let's speed run some of these takeaway food options. German sausages. Whether you're at the Christmas market, a fair or just in a German city, it's not hard to find a juicy Wurst. The prices will range depending on the sausage and the city, but I was able to get one currywurst and a bread roll for only $2.99. And it was quite delicious. If you're in the little Tokyo of Dusseldorf, you can get two onigiri for five euros. They are a perfect lunch or snack ready to quickly grab and go. Mmm, sehr lecker. Sandwiches. Sandwiches are a common lunch or snack in Germany. A lot of the bakeries will sell pre-made sandwiches starting around two euro-ish. So you could get one or two of these from a bakery or one of these fish sandwiches from the German chain Nordsee. Or you could get a little nip of this Nordseekrabbenbrötchen from Hamburg. Man, that was one expensive sandwich. If you're at a fair in Germany, you could get three large homemade flavored pickles. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. Or you could get one fat potato twister. It was so fun watching them slice it up, deep fry it, and then season that potato. Mm-mm, so good. Döner. Sadly, it is getting more and more difficult to find a döner for under 5 euros in Germany. Just a year ago, they were all under 5 euros. It was the ultimate preis leistungsverhältnis fast food in Germany. However, the prices are on the rise and the new standard in our city is about 6.50. Sad times, but you can still find them for 5 euro, especially in cheaper areas. Have you heard about the Big Mac index? There should be a döner index. Pre-packed salads. You can get two and a half pre-packed salads from a discount supermarket in Germany for five euros. It is a nice, cheap and healthier option for a grab and go meal. Noodle boxes. There are many takeaway noodle box options for under five euros. It is quite a delicious, quick and easy meal to grab and go. Pizza. If you are lucky, you can find a nice, fresh cheese pizza for five euros from a real Italian restaurant. I'm not kidding. It is becoming a little harder these days as well, but they're still out there. Then there are also frozen pizzas and they are quite famous here. And don't be fooled, these are pretty damn good in Germany. You could get one and a half of these standard frozen Wagner pizzas or two and a half of these frozen vegan pizzas. If you're into meat or the bro lifestyle, you can buy one 500 gram pack of frozen chicken breast or one fresh 400 gram pack of chicken. Gains, bro. Of course, we cannot forget about all of the different German chocolate and snacks, 
paprika chips, chocolate bars. You can get 10 packs of this chocolate bar for five euros. You could also buy five Kinder Surprise eggs or seven eggs from this Schoko Spaß brand. During the summertime, there are a lot of spots where you can buy a drink, get a lounge chair and just enjoy a view. Here in Düsseldorf, there are multiple areas. You can buy a beer, a soda or even a coffee and just sit down and enjoy the scenery. The seats are free, so the experience starts way below 5 euros for your first drink. There are also many 1 euro shops that are similar to the Dollar Tree or Dollar General in the USA. In Germany, these stores are called Teddy, Kick or other Euro Laudens. There are a lot of different things in these stores from decorative items to phone cables to cute cards to mugs to plates and glasses. There are a lot of great options, especially for those on a budget. So what would you spend your five euros on in Germany? We all know what Phil spends his money on. And what are some interesting items that you can buy with five euros or five dollars in your country? 